Our next question comes from Joyce Nett. And Joyce asks, what are advantages and disadvantages to cement versus non-cement knee replacement? Great. Um, thanks, Joyce, for bringing that up. So uh, that's something that, uh, that often gets, that sometimes gets brought up in, in clinic and often patients will come in uh, ahead of time with that question. And cementation is the, up till now, and I would say even including now, is the gold standard for fixation of your knee replacement, okay? Cementation uh, works, it, it kind of works like a grout on your tile floor. Um, we, we rely on that cement or that grout to actually get into the porosity or the holes inside your bone. And that, bond, that cement also bonds to the backside of the, uh, of the implants that we use, and it holds it stable, holds it rock solid for a long, long time. But if you've ever had cement or uh, tile floors for a long period of time, eventually you notice that maybe a tile loosens a little bit, it rocks a little bit. And the same thing that can happen uh, with knee replacement over time. And right now, uh, long-term failure, so the failures that happen after 10, 15 years in knee replacements, one of the most common um, modes of failure is this loss of fixation of the cement interface, usually with the bone, okay? The newer technique is through, it's a technique called press fit. And what we do is we, instead of having a very smooth surface on the back of the implants, we have a roughened surface. Now there's several different, uh, several different surfaces that people, that different implant companies use. Um, and the idea behind it is that if we have that roughened surface, just like in hip replacements, your own bone will grow to the back side of those implants. If that happens, we think in the future that it acts more like a lifelong bond. So much less likely to loosen over time um, than the cement implants are. There are a few, at, at this point, there are some uh, gray zones for this uh, um, press fit technology for knee replacements or hip replacements but mostly knee replacements at this point. We think we know who good candidates, candidates are, but there are still some people who have early failures or early loosening of that implant that require early revision surgery after that press fit. So that's some of the con uh, associated with that press fit technology is, is maybe earlier revision. So within the first couple of years after surgery, if that bone, if your bone doesn't actually grow into that implant. So you can have an early failure uh, with those implants. But again, Joyce, the components are getting better and better. Um, the answer is we probably still don't know what the best surface is um, to use. Now there's better implants on the market um, than others, but I still don't think the, uh, the winner has been, uh, ha is out yet in terms of the implant. So I think some of the cons are that you can have an earlier revision because of loosening. And also, we don't know what the best implant is to use for those patients who even if we do think would be a great candidate for that press fit technology, okay? Uh, 